Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about how to convert decimal to fraction. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So here, we need to consider the number of decimal places of the given decimals. So what do I mean by that? So for example, we have here in example number 1, we have 0 0.6. We need to count the number of decimal places here. So in 0 0.6, we have 1 decimal place. So what does it mean? So our process is that we will put a number 1 here and then the number or the count of decimal places will be the, will be the number of zeros in your denominator. Since we have here a single place value or decimal place, we will put a single zero here. And after that, we will copy this number. We have 6, meaning the equivalent fraction of this decimal 0 0.6 is simply 6 over 10. Now let's go with the next example for you to grasp what is meant by our process. We have 0 0.06. As you can see, if we will count the number of decimal places, we have 1 and 2. So we will place here 1, and since we have 2 decimal places here, we will put 1 and 2 zeros. Next, we will copy the number, which is 6. We will not include 0, meaning 0 0.06 is equivalent to 6 over 100 in fraction. Now let's move on with item number 3. For item number 3, guys, I will put here the bar sign and then the 1. And now let's count the number of zeros or decimal places here. 1, 2, and 3. So we will put 1, 2, 3 zeros, meaning our denominator is 1,000. After that, we will copy this number, 507, meaning the fraction is simply 507 over 1,000. Now let's move on to the next example. We have 2.33. As you can see, in this example, we have a whole number. What will happen? We will put here a whole number, meaning our answer will become a mixed number. Next, our bar sign here, and we will put a 1 here. Then we will count the number of decimal places. We have 1 and 2, so we have two zeros here. And then copy this number, we have 33, meaning the equivalent fraction of 2.33 is 2 and 33 over 100. As simple as that. Now guys, you can pause for a while and you can answer number 5. Okay, let's continue. We have here a whole number 4, meaning we will put a whole number here. And then, let's put our 1 here. Then we will count the number of decimal places in this given decimal. 1, 2, and 3. We have 1, 2, and 3. Now, we will copy the number. Not 0, 1, 3. Instead, you can simply write 1, 3. And this is the answer. Let's continue with number 6. For number 6, okay, I will give you a correction here. Let's try 4 and 25. So we will put here the whole number. And then 1 here. We have 1 and 2 decimal places. We have 0 and 0. Copy 25. And this is the answer, 4 and 25 over 100. Now, as part of our routine, I will give you item number 7. And that, let me see in the comment section what is your answer here. We have 0 0.005 and 5. So what do you think is the correct answer? Now, guys, that's it. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the red bell button. For you to be updated sa the latest uploads again, it's me, Teacher Goyne. Maraming maraming salamat and bye-bye!